The situation of an individual, family, or community without a stable, safe, permanent, appropriate housing or the immediate prospects of one is reality for many families who ha face homelessness. 12 News' Deidre Briscoe explores homelessness in the Pine Belt. Most of the women who are part of the homeless population in Hattiesburg are ages 20 to 25, and most men are older males. Their needs include food, clothing, shelter, and more. One new organization is aiming to help women get a start. We're in phase one. There's two phases. The, uh, this is the emergency phase where we're just trying to keep people, get people and keep people off the street. Uh, phase two will be transitional housing and it will house up to 30 women and we're hoping that that house will be ready in about six months. Rapid rehousing has provided shelter for numerous women and children in the last month. There were 15 women and four men. And within those 15 women, there were 43 children. And those are people that went from homelessness. Probably most of them have been staying in their car. A lot of them. Um, for women, women and children. And then uh, we, we put them in a hotel. It usually takes us about a week and a half to two weeks to get someone into housing. They say it takes them up to two weeks to get people into housing. Reporting that Hattiesburg has the highest number of women who are homeless in any other region in the state. It was a huge relief because, you know, I, the kids, we were worried about living on the streets with the kids. And we were also worried about them getting taken into custody and being put in a worse situation. So it was a huge relief that we didn't have to worry about the kids being taken away from us. We could keep the kids and then work on get back on our feet. Local resources say many of the women who fall homeless are here with men, left by men, or brought to the area through sex trafficking. The city of Hattiesburg has come up with a plan. It's called the Hattiesburg Homeless Investment Strategy. With it, they plan to use federal funds to slow down, if not stop, homelessness. Reporting in Hattiesburg, Deidre Briscoe, 12 News.